Here's the cam I welded up for my Briggson Stratton steam engine I'm trying to build. Gonna make it out of this thing. And I had to weld some lobes on it. 180 degrees from the original and ground them down. Tried getting the overlap out of it, but we'll see how it does once it comes together and see how it runs and may have to fine tune it. So we'll see. Okay, here's the steam engine I made out of an old Briggs and Stratton WM engine. It was a four cycle engine from the 40s. I cut the crankcase open so you can see everything, everything going on. I had to weld on two more lobes, one for the intake and one for the exhaust. So instead of a four cycle, now it's basically a two cycle, but it's a steam engine. Two lobes on the intake and two on the exhaust. I drilled the hole through the cylinder here. I'm going to add an oiler to just a way of lubricating the cylinder up when it's running. I put some grease dirks on the bearings and even on the rod cap. This uh, crankshaft was pretty wore out, really grooved, so I didn't couldn't really make an engine out of it, a regular gasoline engine, so I thought I'd do this to it. It's running on so little of air pressure that I can't even, it doesn't even show up on the gauge. Of course, I had to put a big flywheel on here. I, uh, the intake port where the carburetor was, I tapped it for a pipe thread, 3 8 pipe thread, and this is just the exhaust valve, and you don't really need a muffler on it. Turned out pretty good though. I'll stop the video here and I'll turn up the air a little bit. I'm right at 10 pounds per square inch now. Hate to go any faster than that. Hey guys, here's Rev 2 of this Briggs & Stratton engine I converted into a steam engine. I changed this to 90 degree and I put a little flapper here. Just made that for that, thought it'd be cute. So here's the final product.